Consider what it is that God did in order to save sinful man. Consider what it is that he put his son through. Such a horrible death. Such a difficult life. Would God have done that if there were any other way? Would he have sent Jesus Christ to live among those who hate him? Would he have had him betrayed by one of his own, one of his close associates, and had him put on trial and publicly condemned? Would he have had his, his son whipped mercilessly as he was and have his flesh ripped open? Or have the, th the crown of thorns you know, placed upon his head, his face beaten? Would he have had him go through such public humiliation? Would he have, and this is even greater, laid the sins of his people and charged them to his account and then punished Jesus Christ on the cross for those sins, make him suffer hell on the cross for those sins if he was intending to allow people to come to him in any way that they chose. Now, the reason why Peter was preaching to these people and the leaders of Israel and the reason why Paul evangelized the whole Roman Empire, the reason why he was willing to suffer so many things at the hands of the Jews and the Gentiles, and the reason why so many believers over the years, over the centuries, have given their lives to get the gospel out to people who lived around them as well as people in foreign lands is because of what Peter says in our passage this morning. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved.